Welcome to day 11. The topic of conversation is eloquent relationships, which trust me, you're really going to love. All right, let's get going. So we discussed in the last episode that there should be a relationship between a job listing and a corresponding employer. So a job belongs to an employer might be the terminology we'd use. Okay, so if I had a job object, yes, I can access the title or the salary. But what about information around the employer? Well, Right now, we can't do that. We've defined that structure on the database end, but in our PHP code, it just doesn't exist. So let's make it exist. And luckily, Eloquent has our back. I'm going to create a method here called employer. So if I have a job and I need information about the employer, then the method will be called employer. And this is going to return a relationship type. Now, in this case, I've said multiple times a job listing belongs to an employer. So belongs to is our key word there. Return this belongs to. And now I want to reference the class that it belongs to, in this case, employer. So yeah, as you can imagine, there are multiple relationship types. A job belongs to an employer, but in reverse, does an employer belong to a job? No, that doesn't make sense. An employer can have many jobs. So that relationship type is called has many. And and there's a variety. There's a half dozen. There's has many. There's has one. There's belongs to. There's belongs to many. Um, and then there's some more uh, complicated options that we're not going to worry about right now. All right. So this is all we have to do here. Check this out. PHP, Artisan, Tinker. I want to find any job. So let's say app models job. And rather than calling the find method and providing an ID, if you ever just want the first one that comes up, I can use a method called first. All right. So we have forest firefighter. Now, because I have that relationship defined in my eloquent model, I can call employer, but notice real quick, this can be initially confusing. I know it's a method, but I'm not going to call it as a method. I'm going to call it as a property, just like I'm referencing the title or the salary for the job. And when I reference it as a property, Laravel's smart enough to pick up on that and it will know, okay, well, we don't have an employer property on this model. So what you're probably trying to do is access the employer relationship. All right, so if we give this a run, now notice we're no longer in a job instance. We have an employer instance. Okay, so that means what I can do here is say job employer, and now I can access any of the attributes from my employer. And in this case, we just have name. Pretty cool, right? So even cooler, though, think about what's happening here. Let's do it one more time. All right, so this is effectively running a query like select star from jobs limit one. So yeah, notice we're only focused on the job listings table. It hasn't yet referenced the employer's table. So here's a key thing to understand. At the point where I say job employer, a second SQL query is being performed. And we refer to this as lazy loading. So lazy as in the loading and the query is not being executed until the last possible minute. And the last possible minute is when you request it. So here is where a new SQL query would be executed. And yeah, it would be something like uh, select star from employers where ID equals two in this example. And that's why we have that foreign ID there so that we can point to a specific employer. All right, that's a key thing to understand. But now what about in reverse? So if I have an employer, app models employer, and again, I'm just gonna grab the first one here. Uh, it would be nice to grab all of the jobs that the employer has uh, published. So what method would we access here? Well, something like jobs, right? So it sounds like we need a method on the employer class called jobs. Let's do that now. Employer, and I'll create a new one here, jobs. And yeah, this time, what is the relationship? Well, just work it out in your head. What's the relationship between an employer and a job? Well, an employer can sign up and create many jobs. So an employer has many jobs, has many job. And that's it. So now think about it. If we have our employer object and we call jobs, well, 
that's going to return a collection, right? Because it could be one or many jobs that are associated with the employer. So you'll see that reflected here. Let's control C, bring it back up. All right, I'll press up, find the first employer. And now if I say employer jobs, all right. And yeah, notice we get a collection of items. So an eloquent collection for now, just think of it as an array on steroids. You can still loop over it like a, like any normal array, but it also includes a full API and a number of methods to, to make the process of filtering, uh, inspecting, uh, looping, any of that stuff it will become infinitely easier because it's all wrapped up within this collection instance. All right. So within the collection, we have our items, all of the items. And in this case, there's only one because this employer only has a single job. So if I wanted to access that first job again, I can just interact with it like an array or like a collection. And one of the methods on a collection is first. OK, and I think we're going to stop right there for day 11. Uh, so you wouldn't believe this, but these two relationship types alone, has many and belongs to, they're going to take you so far. It'll take you 85% of the way there. And yeah, keep in mind, there are more relationship types. Uh, there is a belongs to many relationship, which is great for pivot tables. And then there are polymorphic relationships, which are a good bit more complicated. But yeah, these two that we discussed, they're going to take you so far, you won't believe it. Okay, so your homework is get this into your fingertips, get it into muscle memory, play around, delete the code when you're done. Use the example of a blog because we all immediately understand it. Uh, what's the relationship between a post and a comment? Well, a post can have many comments. So that method you'd create is a has many relationship. Uh, what about the relationship between a comment and a post? Well, the comment belongs to the post. What about the relationship between a post and a user? Well, a post is written by a user. So the post belongs to the user or an author. What's the relationship between a post and tags? Well, this is kind of a, a cliffhanger. A post can have many tags, but in reverse, each tag does not belong to a post. So why don't you hold off on that tags example? Because it requires a new relationship type that we didn't talk about in this episode. We will cover that naturally in day 12. I'll see you then.